friends welcome to my channel today is the day 16 for our pcnsa series so in this video we are going to talk about network address translation topic and today we are going to understand what is nat why we need nat and how many types of nat in palo alto firewall we can configure so this is all about your nat theory friends and once we understand the NAT theory, then only we'll be jumping into the practicals of each of the NAT. Okay. So I'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till then so that it will be helpful during the interview time because they are going to ask you a lot of theory questions related to NAT and then they will be going to scenario based. So I'll request you to please watch this till the end. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. Friends, let's understand NAT first. What is a NAT? The meaning of NAT is basically network address translation, right? So as you can see, the name suggests itself network address. Okay. With the help of this particular diagram, we'll try to understand more. But let's understand through OSI model. So let's say in OSI model we have or if I talk about TCP IP model at layer three in OSI or TCP IP model, we have something called as network layer. OK, now network address in network layer, we have something called as IP address, right? Now changing that particular IP address is called as NAT. OK, now it can be from any IP to any IP when we are translating one IP to another IP, it is called as NAT. In diagram, if you see, we have multiple IP address over here. Now, while going outside or if I'm going outside, I am changing one of the IP address. Now we'll understand why we need to change this particular IP address. Okay. But as if you try to understand NAT, NAT is nothing but changing one IP address to another IP address. That's all. Okay. So friends, let's understand why we need NAT. Basically the network address, why we have to change our IP addresses. What is the reason? Let's understand this. With the help of this particular diagram, we'll understand more. Before that, let's understand how and what exactly the NAT use cases are. So let's say we have got a IP address over here. Okay. And IP address is basically two. We cannot say two type, but the use case of the IP address is two ways. We can use it as a public IP address. Okay. We have a range which is defined by INA. Okay. And we have a private range as well, which is used by a private organization. Or let's say if we are using that, if you are using the IP address in our home, we'll be using private range as well. Okay. So that range is also defined by INA. Now, let's say if I want to go from private IP address to public IP address, this is not possible. Right. So what I have to do is and even from public to private, if I want to go, I cannot go because routing is not possible in both the areas. Right. So public IP address cannot go to private IP address or private address cannot go to means routing is not possible. So that is the reason what we will do is we'll be changing the IPv4 which is private IP address to IPv4 public IP address and vice versa. That is one of the need of a NAT. The other need is let's say I am sitting in private network. Okay. Or let's say I am sitting in public network. And I'm connected to my partner, maybe through VPN or something. Okay. So in that case, if I want to hide my IP ranges, okay, or hide my IP addresses, what I can do, I can perform a NAT. So what exactly happens is, let's say you are sitting here 
and your partner is sitting here okay now you have a range of 192 168 10 dots let's say one now while going to partner you change this particular ip address to 172 16 10.1 now you the the partner when they see your ip address they will be seeing this one as your ip address they will not be able to see your ip schema or ip address so it can happen with private ip address or public ip address both ways okay now in this particular diagram as you can see these are the private ip address now if they want to go towards public internet let's say even right now you are seeing the youtube video and you are sitting at your home right now through wi-fi router wi-fi router is also doing that maybe isp level internet service provided like adnd very very zone airtel geo whatever it is they will be also doing that to go to internet right so nat is everywhere now we are going to talk about what are the types of NAT that is available and what is widely used. We'll be talking about that. Okay. Now the need of NAT is basically where the routing is not possible. And for security purpose, if I want to hide my IP address, I'll be using NAT for it. Okay. So friends, now we'll understand how many type of NAT is possible in Palo Alto Firewall or in general, how many types of NAT that is available. Let's try to understand with these particular diagrams okay now let's focus on this particular header first so this is layer 3 header or you can say network header now you can see we have source address and we have destination address okay so either i can change this particular ip address or i can change this particular ip address because the name suggests network address so network address is what this two so network address translation so either i can change this source address or i can change the destination address so i can say in this particular way that we have two type of nat which is called as source nat and destination nat so when i'm changing the source ip address as per the condition which is called as source nat i can change my destination it will call called as dnat or destination nat right if you see in this particular diagram mostly the source nat will be used for our internal user tries to connect to internet right here if you see the source is getting natted the destination remains the same right not like this so destination remains the same but in case of destination nat now destination nat let's say you have have a server inside your organization now the traffic is coming from outside and they will be connecting to a public IP address. But your internal server should be connected or if it is connected to private IP address or it is configured with private IP address. In that case, you will be changing the destination IP to do a NAT and connect to this particular server. So in this case, you are not changing the source IP address, you are changing the destination IP address right so this is how source nat and destination nat works we are going to cover the nat the source nat and destination nat in very detailed way now we have different type of natting in source nat and in destination nat let's understand that first is we can do static nat we can do dynamic nat we can do pat right same way we can do static nat we can do dynamic nat right and we can also do port forwarding right so these are the types and i'll be explaining all the types in upcoming videos i'll be taking care of all these types i'll be going with the practical i'll be explaining with the packet flow so don't need to worry about that i'll be explaining all this type guys okay so if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it because you will be getting a lot of videos from now okay so thank you so much for watching this video this is what i need to cover in this particular video and i'll see you in the next thank you so much for watching till then if you have any suggestion related to my video please put it uh, to an email 
uh, you can send me a message on instagram facebook wherever you want all the social media handles are there in the about section okay thank you so much guys